I made a video last week on how you can make a clipping mask within Kittle, but I got lots of questions from Canva users on how you can make this within Canva. So first of all, what even is a clipping mask? A clipping mask involves putting one image into the shape of another. So for example, a shirt like this, which has a background pattern that is clipped to the mama text. And why do you wanna be making these now more than ever? Because this style on Etsy is going insane. If you look through this shirt here, we have this one, mama, it is a bestseller listed less than a month ago. If we take a look at the product analytics using Everbee and scroll down, we can see this is sold 47 times in the first month that it was put up. We have this design here, same idea, different niche. And now that I've shown you this, you're going to start seeing these popping up everywhere on Etsy. Just this one screenshot here, half of these designs are clipping masked. So first you need to pick your font and your pattern. And because you're already using Canva, they already have a bunch of fonts and different patterns for you. But if you can't find the ones that you are looking for, I highly recommend looking into Creative Fabrica, which is a subscription service that you can use to get different elements for your graphic designs. And using the link in the description, you can get one free month or your first 10 free downloads, whichever comes first. From the bestsellers that I'm seeing on Etsy, a lot of them have this college type text. So the one that I'm gonna be using is this College Block 2.0 from Creative Fabrica. So now coming into Canva, what I'm gonna do is either, again, you can use one of the Canva fonts for this. You don't need for it to be a Creative Fabrica one, but if you have a certain design style in mind, you can upload it by going to your fonts and hitting upload a font and bringing in that file that we saved from Creative Fabrica. And now I'm going to use that font and write down the text that you would like on your shirt. And now before I mask this, what I need to do is I need this text as a PNG file. So before we do anything else, we are actually just going to export this. We're gonna download this as a PNG file with a transparent background. Background. Now, once you've saved your text as a PNG file, we wanna bring in the pattern. This is the image that we're going to want that's going to be behind our text. And it doesn't matter if this is from the Creative Fabrica library or if you get it from Canva itself because they have a bunch of them that you could use as well. And now from here, we're gonna create our clipping mask. If you watched my previous tutorial on this a few years ago, this required us moving off of Canva. But while doing my research this week, I discovered that Canva now has a little bit of a hidden way to make these clipping clipping masks, and that is by using their apps. So what you can do is on Canva, scroll down to the apps button, and you're going to type in clipping mask, and we're gonna use this first one right here, which is called clipping mask. And then you need to select the pattern or image that is in your design that you want for the background. So I have this one here selected, and then we're gonna hit start masking. And now you can mask it to a shape that they have. You can use their text. The reason I don't use their text is because they only give you this one font and it's not the best. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're going to bring in the PNG file of our text that we previously saved. And then once that's brought in, you are able to play with the sizing of your text to just better fit it to the pattern that you have. Then once you hit add to design, you might not see it because it doesn't delete your pattern, but if you just bring down the text here, I now have my clipping mask item. And if I would like, I can also edit this and I can add a outline because a lot of these do have outlines just to make them a little bit more visible. I can change the size here. I can change the color to match more of the design as well. And there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you Canva users make this design trend that is absolutely killing it on Etsy right now. If this helped, please drop a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much and I will talk to you next week.